Hello friends, welcome to Quick Learn Tutorial Series. In this video, I will explain you semiconductors. So, what is semiconductor? Semiconductor are those material whose conductivity lie between conductor and insulator. Or we can say that semiconductor material are neither a smart insulator nor a smart conductor. It means it conductivity lie between conductor and insulator. Semiconductor can be pure elements such as silicon, germanium, compound. Semiconductor can be pure elements such as silicon, germanium or compounds such as gallium arsenide or cadmium selenide. Semiconductor are those material whose resistivity value is between insulator and conductor. These material are neither smart insulator or nor smart conductor. Semiconductor are the most widely used material for manufacturing electronic components just like gallium arsenide, germanium, silicon are the sum of the semiconductor material which are commonly used in manufacturing of electronics components. Silicon is used in electronic circuit fabrication whereas gallium arsenide is used in solar cell uh, laser diode etc. Now hole and electrons in semiconductor. Hole and electron are the charge carrier uh, which are responsible to flow of current in semiconductor. Hole are the positive charge carrier whereas electrons are the negative charge carriers. Both electron and holes are equal in magnitude but opposite in polarity. Hole having positive charge and electron having negative charge. In semiconductor, the mobility of electron is higher than the mobility of holes because of their different band structure and scattering mechanism. Now the mobility of electron and hole. In a semiconductor, the mobility of electron is higher than that of the hole. It is because of their different band structure and scattering mechanism. Electron travel in conduction band, whereas hole travel in valence band. When an electric field is applied, hole cannot move as freely as electron due to their restricted movement. The evaluation of electron from their inner cell to higher cell result in creation of hole in semiconductor. Since the hole experience is stronger atomic force by nucleus than, than electron, hole have lower mobility. This is the bond model of electron in silicon. Here, the yellow hole indicate the hole and the blue hole indicate the free electron. When one of the free electron leaves the lattice position, the hole is created. This hole having positive charge, it attracts the negative charge electron and the electron move here. And here hole is created. This hole again attract the negative charge carrier electron and uh, electron will come here and hole is created here. By this the electron and hole get moved. Now with the energy band diagram I explain semiconductor, insulator and conductor. So first we know about what is energy band. In different materials or substance just like solid, liquid or gas. The molecular arrangement is very different. Just like in gas, the molecule are not uh, so closely. In liquid, the molecular arrangement is moderate. Or in solid, the uh, molecular are very close to each other. So, the electron of one atom overlap the neighboring atom orbit. So, the electron of one atom is moved to the orbit of another atom. So, this intermixing of atom uh, having not a single energy level, having different energy level. So, this number of energy level is called energy band. Basically, there are three types of band. Filled band, valence band and conduction band. Fill band always fill with electrons. Valence band is the highest occupied energy state. Having number of electrons, these electrons is called valence electron. Conduction band is the lowest occupied energy state. Having electron is called free electrons. The valence band and conduction band are separate by a band gap. This is also known as forbidden energy gap. So, First, in insulator, the forbidden energy gap, it means the band gap between the valence band and the conduction band is very large, plus 5 EV electron volt or larger. So,
so because of this large band gap the valence electron in the valence band cannot move easily in the conduction band and current cannot flow now in case of conductor there is no band gap between the valence band and the conduction band so valence band electron it means the valence electron easily when we apply small energy the valence band electron easily go to the conduction band and current flow easily in the conductor in semiconductor whose conductivity lie between insulator and conductor having a small band gap or four within gap between valence band and conduction band due to this small gap that is one ev when we apply a small amount of energy valence band electron it means valence electron easily move to conduction band and current flow in the semiconductor material now what is fermi level in semiconductor now what is fermi level in semiconductor fermi level is present between the valence band and the conduction band it is the highest energy state occupied by an electron at absolute 0 degree kelvin fermi energy it is the highest energy possessed by an electron at 0 degree kelvin the charge carrier in this state have their own quantum state and generally do not interact with each other when the temperature rise above absolute 0 this charge carrier will being to occupy state above fermi level now the properties of semiconductors semiconductor can conduct electricity under preferable condition or circumstances this unique property make it an excellent material to conduct electricity in a controllable manner that is why semiconductor is preferred for construction of electronic component unlike conductor the charge carrier in semiconductor arise only because of external energy it causes a certain number of valence electron to cross their energy gap and jump into the conduction band leaving an equal amount of unoccupied energy state that is called hole conduction due to electron or hole are equally important in semiconductor or we can say that in semiconductor current flow due to electron and hole semiconductor act like an insulator at 0 degree kelvin on increasing the temperature it work like a conductor due to their ex exponential electrical property semiconductor can be modified by doping to make semiconductor device suitable for energy conversion switches and amplifier semiconductor having lesser power losses semiconductor are smaller in size and possess less weight The resistivity of semiconductor is higher than conductor but lesser than insulator. The resistance of semiconductor material decrease with increase in temperature or vice versa. The resistivity of semiconductor lie between conductor and insulator that is 10 raised to the power minus 5 to 10 raised to the power 6 ohm meter. Conductivity of semiconductor is lie between conductor and insulator that is also 10 raised to the power 5 to 10 raised to the power minus 6 mo per meter temperature coefficient of resistance semiconductor are negative temperature coefficient of resistance next is current flow in semiconductor current flow due to electron and hole both now the type of semiconductors semiconductor can be classify as two type intrinsic semiconductor or extrinsic semiconductor in my next video i will explain you full detail of type of semiconductor intrinsic semiconductor or extrinsic semiconductor so stay continue